Okay, we have Grandmaster Caden Trove just got his first win for Las Vegas Desert Reds. <laughs> Coming through at the right time for us, beat the Grandmaster Barcenilla in the playoffs and help us sweep uh, Arizona with 4-0 four, four score. Excellent result. And Caden's going to talk about his game. Um, yeah, so I actually prepared a, a decent amount for this game, but by move two, I was like out of preparation. <laughs> <laughs> because it usually just plays the straight up King's Indian with knight f6. And mm -hmm. here, uh, I mean, usually the idea is of knight c3. Um, then black plays c5. d5. And this kind of weird move, uh, bishop takes c3. And uh, it should be better for white after, I mean, okay, he has to play b takes c3. I think it should be better for white here. But, I mean, if black knows what they're doing, it, it, it can be very easy for white to actually lose his advantage. Um, yeah, so I'm just like, okay, I'll play knight f3, uh, avoid any of this, and I thought he'd probably maybe play knight f6 and just kind of transpose, but he played c5, and yeah, I mean, it. Uh, not uh, not really many people play kind of this way with g6 and bishop g7, and especially after knight f3, uh, I think usually people will play knight f6. <clears throat> so I'm like, okay, I'll just play Doesn't this transpose into that uh, Fisher Petrosian line where you just play DC5? And you get Roxy and the knight goes back to D2? Um, no. I, I don't really know. Uh, look it up. I think it's yeah. the right move. I don't know. I like, I like D5. Yes. <clears throat> um, yeah, after D5, okay, D6 is normal. And okay, maybe e4, but I mean, there's some theory here. Um, I thought I'd just play the simple move g3 because I thought if e4, he'd probably have some preparation. And I figured g3, white's position is just more comfortable. Um, and you know, he, he would probably start playing a game instead of preparation. <clears throat> so yeah, no knight c3, castle. Bishop G2. Yeah, and here I was actually, I mean, I'm happy with this because um, my plan is basically just to castle, play rook E1, E4, and at some point E5, or maybe play, at some point move my knight, play F4. Um, or, I mean, maybe I can try playing for B4. It, it's very easy for white to come up with an idea. Uh, I mean, black has a lot of resources, so maybe not so easy to execute, but very easy for white to come up with something. And so he played e5, which gives me, I guess, two interesting options. I, I, I thought about something like e4 or castle, but I thought, um, he, like after e4 here, um, okay, yeah, the computer's saying b5, which is, is always an idea. But I, I also wasn't sure, um, maybe the computer can just say something, but if knight e8... <clears throat> uh, because in general, uh, ideally I'd want to play like knight h4, castle, something like this to kind of prevent f5. But, I mean, if I play knight h4 or castle, he's immediately playing f5. And, okay, it's, it's probably okay for a wife, but, uh, I mean, I just... I just thought um, <clears throat> going back instead of e4 to just play take on e6 and I thought with my bishop on g2 I have a pretty nice position here. Um, yeah, so castle, knight c6, bishop f4. Yeah, he's just, I mean, he's just playing pretty passive. Queen d2, knight d4. And here, I, I mean, maybe I have some different options, bishop h6, but I, I just wanted to keep it simple, so just rook a d1. <clears throat> At some point, 
I mean, this move will almost always be helpful with E3, or because yeah, I have these this pressure on D6, so just kind of as a preparation move, it's really hard for him to deal with this. And um, as a future idea, it, it will almost always be helpful. So he played Queen B6, which I thought was pretty normal. Um, yeah, now I just played Knight H4 because I wanted to see what he was doing here. Because now I want to play E3, and he no longer has Knight takes F3 ideas, and. It's it's also nice because it opens up my bishop, and uh, in several several cases I'm thinking about playing bishop h6, which it can be nice maybe to have my knight on h4. Um, so yeah, you played rook f7, which I thought was good. And now I, I was thinking about different ideas, but uh, the problem was is I kind of wanted to play something like e3 here. But again, yeah, after knight c6, and if I play knight e4 here, yeah, he has this e5 move, which I think if the computer thinks about it, it should be able to find some compensation. But uh, okay, you see like bishop g5 here, h6, and it wants f4, which. It's a very hard move to to find over the board. Um, so yeah, I saw I saw some ideas like this. So I thought I'd just play knight e4 first, and really just ask him what he wants. Because okay, if he plays e5, I play knight g5, um, and the problem is is because of this d5 square. Uh, I should I, I'm almost always going to be at least slightly better. Um, so e5 is kind of a painful move to play, but Okay, I mean, what else? He ended up playing bishop f8 to kind of protect his d6 pawn. Yeah, okay, I, I had a feeling I had something like knight g5 or e3, but again, I'm just like, okay, I'll play it simple, play rook f1. And the idea is if he just plays some sort of waiting move, then I'm gonna play b4 here. So for example, if he plays like a6, maybe I can play b4 here. And the difference is now after queen takes b4, queen takes, is that before he had knight takes e2, uh, which my rook is now protecting. Um, so yeah, and yeah, after rook f1, it's again, it's just asking him to make a move. And um, yeah, he spent quite, quite a bit of time here. <laughs> Because it just really is, it's really hard to play. And he played e5, which, I mean, it's hard to criticize. I, I guess he doesn't really have a choice. But, I mean, I was pretty happy with this move after knight.